Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I'm bringing you another weekly VHS rewind with the Sofia Coppola film, The Virgin Suicides. Uh, I've only uh, ever seen this uh, on this VHS copy and once in the theater. However, I do have the Criterion release. Uh, this is what I was talking about last week. I was going to do another uh, weekly VHS rewind. And uh, just so happens I have a Criterion release for that one as well. Um, I have yet to dive deep into this one. I remember buying this one during quarantine. And uh, never got to it for some reason. Uh, I don't know. The... Uh, Put that back there. I have my Criterion shelf just all right there. Uh, it's it's a smaller shelf, but it doesn't need to be that impressive. I think the catalog alone is is amazing. So one day I'll hopefully get a bigger shelf and I'll be able to like front face things like box sets and whatnot. But I digress. The Virgin Suicides. I remember enjoying this movie. Uh, I think it's the only Sofia Coppola film that I truly enjoyed. I'm not, like, every time I try and get into her movies, I just can't. Um, they're beautiful movies. Everything about them, I mean, it's, they're all shot and look so beautiful. But I don't know what it is about the other films that I, I struggle with. Uh, I, I do go back and revisit them because I don't want to just, you know, leave with a, a sour taste in my mouth, but, uh, of her films, uh, this is the one I've, I've liked the most. Uh, this is the, this is, I think I, I don't, I don't remember where I got this. I think it was like used at like a Walgreens or something. It's got like a little movie tag on the inside, like a little magnetic strip, which leads me to believe this was one of those previously viewed copies at a Walgreens or CVS Pharmacy. But, yeah, uh, I wanted to get into this. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, the last time I watched it, uh, I just, I didn't really want to revisit it, I guess. Uh, and it's been a little while now, so I want to give it another go. Uh, again, I do enjoy this movie, so it's not, uh, not that I, I hate it by any means, but it's been a while since I've seen it. So let's get into this. I hope everyone out there is doing well. Gotta turn on the TV here. And today I'm gonna do me another Hank's Genuine Root Beer. Busting that. Some good stuff. And before this movie gets started, coming to theaters, this is my bottle opener. This is my favorite bottle opener. I, I got this out of a like a mystery box thing a few years ago. It's awesome. But anyway, enough sharing that. I'm going to get into this movie, and I will see y'all in the rewind. Bye. All right, and I am back. So, The Virgin Suicides, how was it? It was great. Uh, I forgot how good this movie was, and I forgot Josh Hartnett was in it, even though he's right there for some odd reason I did not put two and two together uh but yeah great movie so let's hit this rewind and talk about it a little bit so any day now <laughs> so we we have this family uh these five daughters uh the youngest daughter ends up committing suicide and later throughout the film you find out that the remaining daughters commit suicide I don't know if I'm necessarily spoiling anything, it's more or less in the title, uh, probably am, but uh, it's these girls, uh, Her their father is a math teacher at a local school, the mother is a stay-at-home mom, and she's very, uh, very strict with her rule, uh, so much so that even her husband does not cower down to her, uh, he more or less uh, enables the behavior of the wife uh, that eventually winds up 
uh, becoming so burdensome that all the daughters kill themselves. Um, it's a very interesting story. Uh, very wonderful flick. Uh, again, it's one of the only movies of Sofia Coppola's work that I enjoy. And uh, I'm really not a big fan of Kirsten Dunst. So if that tells you anything, uh, I mean, this is a fantastic movie. Um, it's more or less told through the narration of some local boys in this town uh, through their experiences with this family. Uh, so it's it's a pretty interesting, pretty interesting film to watch. Uh, I definitely want to uh, dive a little deeper into it with the Criterion release, uh, again, that I have right here. So, uh, I definitely want to dig into it a little deeper with this, uh, and will at some point in time. Uh, I think it went right here. I'll figure out where it's supposed to go number-wise in a minute. But, uh, yeah, again, great flick. Um, I definitely say check it out if, if you haven't already. Uh, I remember the first time I watched this, I, I, I couldn't understand why why everything happened the way it did uh, in the film. Like, why they couldn't just wait to, to move out and be done with that strict rule, uh, strict mother, and her idea of what was best for their daughters. But, you know... It, it was told to me they felt like they couldn't escape, so it was the only way they could. And I was like, I, fair enough, I guess. I, I, I suppose I'm just too patient in the grand scheme of things to... But, uh, you know, it, it, it's a great story, and I definitely recommend anyone check it out. Um, yeah. Looks like Roger Ebert gave it four stars on the back there. But... I'm going to go ahead and eject this. And uh, if anyone out there has seen this, what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Uh, could you just go without it? Uh, I do believe there was a sequel made for this, like an unofficial sequel. I don't know if it was done by Sofia Coppola, but I think it more or less follows the character of Lux. But in sort of, I, I'm supposing some different sort of scenario. Uh, I'm not sure how all that works. I never saw it, but definitely, uh, if you get the opportunity to check this one out and if you're a criterion hunter, definitely, definitely, you know, check out the criterion release of it. It's a fantastic film and I definitely recommend it. I, I, I really can't recommend it enough. Um, especially for not being a fan of Sofia, Sofia Coppola, uh, I definitely push this, push this movie. Um, actually, <laughs> my buddy Jose, uh, had bought a shirt for this film, uh, about the same time I bought this copy of the movie. I remember him posting and talking about it and, and all that fun jazz, but yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, if you like the movie, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the review, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and jot down in the comments below what you thought about this movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? So on and so forth. And thank you everybody for stopping by, checking out the video. And I will see you next time. Always be good to one another. Bye.